Greetings, I am Dr. S. Monish Balaji. Today, we will be talking about Azegos lobe. The Azegos lobe is a rare anatomic congenital malformation of the upper lobe of the right lung, also commonly referred to as an accessory lobe of the Azegos vein. It is believed to have been first described by Heinrich Risberg in 1778. It does not typically have any clinical features of its own and is usually diagnosed incidentally on imaging. This image shows the presence of azagus lobe in a schematic diagram of the lung. The azagus lobe is typically located in the apico-medial portion of the right lung, separated from the rest of the right upper lobe by a visible fissure called the mesozygous fissure or the azagus fissure. This is a gross specimen of the right lung showing the presence of a zygous lobe indicated by the alphabets A, Z. The azagus lobe is not truly a separate lobe as it does not have its own bronchus and does not correspond to a specific bronchopulmonary segment. Embryologically, the azagus lobe is a part of the right upper lobe and its bronchial and arterial supplies arise from the apical or posterior segments of the right upper lobe. The azagus lobe is formed when the right posterior cardinal vein, which is one of the precursors of the azagus vein, penetrates the right lung apex rather than migrating over it. The cardinal vein carries both pleural layers with it resulting in entrapment of a portion of the right upper lobe. The double folds of visceral and parietal pleura form a mesentery-like structure termed the mesozygous or azagus fissure containing the azagus vein arch in its lowermost portion. The azagus fissure can be identified as a fine convex line on the chest x-ray in the paramediastinal portion of the right lung. The uppermost part of the fissure is triangular shaped and is known as triagonum parietale. It contains a small amount of areolar tissue between the parietal layers of the pleura. The lowermost portion of the azagus fissure is teardrop shaped and contains the azagus vein. The azagus fissure has a tadpole shape, the azagus vein itself forming the head of the tadpole. As in all lung tissue, some pathological processes can originate in the azagus lobe, such as bronchiectatic changes, bullous changes, pneumonia and tuberculosis. It seems likely that the pleural folds of the mesozygous serve as a barrier to the dissemination of infection or malignant cells. For example, in patients with pulmonary TB, dissemination of the tuberculous infection into the azagus lobe is uncommon. In a study conducted in patients with adenocarcinoma of the lung in the azagus lobe, histological analysis of the regional lymph nodes revealed no metastatic disease. In a case report of a patient with recurrent hemoptysis with no obvious explanation for bleeding, the posterior segment of the right upper lobe was tucked behind and compressed by the azagus lobe at surgery. This suggested that the recurrent bleeding was due to the azagus lobe. However, further clarification is needed. Usually, the azagus lobe is not recognized as having significant clinical implications. The azagus lobe can mimic bullae, abscesses or paratracheal opacity. Sometimes the azagus vein located in the lowermost part of the azagus fissure can mimic a pulmonary nodule. Consolidation of the azagus lobe can mimic a lung mass. 
scars, walls of bullae and displaced fissures can mimic an azygous fissure, leading to misdiagnosis of an azygous lobe on chest x-ray. Identification of an azygous vein in its normal position at the angle between the trachea and the right bronchus on an x-ray can be helpful to rule out an azygous lobe. Confirmation of the diagnosis can be done by CT. This is a chest x-ray showing the presence of the azygous fissure indicated by the white arrows and the presence of the tear shaped azygous vein at the base of the fissure which is indicated by the red arrow. This is a CT scan of the chest which depicts the fissure as a curved or C shaped line indicated by the alphabet A and we are able to see the presence of the azygous lobe which is indicated by the alphabet B. For thoracoscopic procedures, recognition of the azygous lobe is particularly important as partial obstruction of surgical site view during thoracoscopic sympathectomy has been reported. Cases have been reported where the phrenic nerve was identified to be coursing within the azygous fissure. What is empty azygous fissure? Changes in the intrathoracic pressure may result in this phenomenon in which there is a medial displacement of the azygous vein from the azygous fissure to the mediastinum. It occurs after re-expansion of the collapsed lung secondary to pneumothorax or pleural effusion as well as a shortened mesozygous. According to some authors, left azygous lobe is an established entity, but it is extremely rare. However, according to other authors, the azygous vein is a right-sided structure. So this accessory fissure is only ever seen on the right side of the chest. But a left-sided hemiazygous lobe may be seen together with the hemiazygous fissure. Thank you.